Hey everyone, welcome to our tutorial on eyes in the avatar builder. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys the, uh, we're going to be introducing the structure of the, of the, uh, common eye and eye clone, uh, the common uh, accessory eye that is. And we're going to be showing you, uh, how to create your own, uh, custom eye, how to assemble it and how to, uh, assign all the, uh, all the roots and all that fun stuff to it. Okay. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to, um, just to give you a little bit of background here, um, in the avatar controller, we've already taken care of the uh, eyebrows in the last tutorial. So you can see that we have uh, some uh, some functional eyebrows. Um, we also have this uh, antenna as well. That's uh, you can move around your head and uh, move that up and down. Um, and we don't have eyes yet, but in the expressions, I've taken the liberty um, of actually assigning some expressions um, to the uh, eyebrows and the antenna which will go along with the eyes and after the eye tutorial we'll go more in depth into the expressions. Um, so you can see here that I have a kind of an angry one, a shocked one, happy one, and you can see how all of my uh, items are uh, kind of coordinating together. All right, so uh, first of all, let's get to the eyes though. Um, I'm going to uh, close down the avatar builder for now. I'm gonna go into uh, actor and accessories. I'm gonna select our actor first, and then in the accessories section, I'm gonna show you the uh, structure of the monster workshop eyes. Uh, whoops, so we have to go to uh, accessories here. There we go. And in the Monster Workshop Volume 1 folder, we have a folder called Puppet Parts. And I'm going to bring in some eyes from that. I'm just going to apply these I04, uh, just double click those. And you can see they appear right up there a little bit uh, over his head. So these disembodied eyes are what we're going to be studying here. Uh, let's zoom in on those really closely. And let's take a look at what they do with the uh, avatar controller. So because I added these as accessories, they're already pretty much added to my uh, character. I can maybe even bring them onto the face just so they look a little bit more uh, um, more natural and they're not just hanging out there. Okay, well that'll have to do for now. Okay, so we got this uh, weird looking guy with um, some weird eyes. Uh, you can see with the uh, eyes here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the different parts of the eyes, the structure of the eyes. So first of all is, is we have the eyeballs, of course. You can move those around um, really easily. And then we have the eyelid. Um, in, in a lot of common eyes, um, the eyelid is kind of hidden underneath the uh, blink. So you can see here that I can uh, move my eyelid around. Uh, this is usually normally, this is normally used to create, help create expressions um, in a lot of uh, monster type characters. So you can see the uh, results there. Of course, you can invert that or whatever. And the blink is actually the kind of the outside um, frame here, um, the outer covering. So if I wanted to make my character blink, you know, I can just do that um, by uh, moving my mouse right there. So that's a basic introduction to the uh, the general structure of a lot of eye clone eyes. Uh, what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to create some custom ones uh, using a little bit of a different blink. Uh, everything else will be generally the same, however. Um, and I'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show you the edit animation layer here. If we select our eye and we select our dummy, let's go into the uh, scene manager here and show you the uh, structure a little bit further. So we have an eyeball. We have an eye blink and we have an eyelid. Now, you can see the eyelid here is just made of one bone. Basically, it's just a simple eyelid um, and that's just uses a simple transform. Um, there's other eyelids like the one I'm going to show you in just a moment, which have multiple bones, which you can kind of morph the uh, mesh with. Okay. So that's basically all I'm going to introduce as far as, as far as eyes go at the moment. Uh, let's just go ahead and delete these now and we're going to get started on our uh, custom eyes. Okay, so I have a folder in my uh, set uh, tab here, uh, the custom tab um, called AT Base Eyes. And this is basically uh, all of my eye material that I'm going to be using. So let's go ahead and make our avatar invisible once again. I'm going to go back to that folder there, AT Base Eyes. And I'm going to add in, just quickly double click all of the elements here. So we have left lid. That's going to be my lid. I have an eyeball there. I have a blink. And of course, I have the right side as well. I've pre-positioned most of these. Um, just to save time uh, so we don't have to be like moving them around into position. So let's take a look at the structure of these eyes here. Now the eye um, lid is right here. Uh, you can see that part right there. Um, and the eyeball is this little, uh, oops, sorry. Oop, we have to select it from the uh, scene manager, not the content manager. So we have the, R, uh, the eye lid on the right and we have the R blink, uh, which you can't really see. And so uh, why is it that you can't see it? Let's take a look at the uh, material settings uh, down here um, on my object here. So you can see that I have a black diffuse map and the opacity map is about 10% uh, visible. You see a little uh, sliver of black on the top there. In addition to that, we have our tiling set at uh, 0.0 or 0 0.1 here rather. Um, now if I set that tiling 
to something larger. So basically it's not even showing a sliver right now. If I set that to something larger like uh, 1.5, you can see now it kind of um, shows more of the actual um, opacity map there um, because I'm on the opacity map right now and I'm adjusting the tiling. Let's go back to uh, 0.1 and I can actually just control Z my position back here. And if I put that on my eye and now I select uh, 1.5, you can see there is my blink. And that's what we're going to be using for blink. We're not going to be using transform. We're going to be using a material modification. Okay, and of course the uh, the eyeball is fairly simple. Just this little uh, little doodad right here, visible from one side, taking up less resources. We'll control Z that back into place. All right, so that's our eye structure. So what do we need normally to um, create some eyes for the avatar controller? What we need to do first is go and get a dummy. So let's go into the props section here and template. And you can see in the Avatar Toolkit Volume 2, Dummy Tools, we have a structured pair. So let's go ahead and add that in. And I might be familiar from the uh, tutorials on eyebrows. We'll just uh, bring it up into the middle of the eyes here. Try and place that as accurately as possible. Oops, let's get a better view here. There we go, maybe somewhere in the middle of the eyes there. Now if you want, you can uh, you know um, separate your dummy and move it around right now. Uh, we'll just go ahead and um, close down the Content Manager. And I'm just going to attach um, all the left section here. So the left eyeball, left blink. And we're going to uh, go up ahead and attach that. Pick parent. And we're going to pick the dummy left. And vice, uh, same thing for the uh, right eyes, right uh, eye, eye parts there. Pick a parent and we'll select the dummy right. Okay, so we pretty much got our structured pair uh, taken care of there. I might want to rename this just for uh, clarity's sake. We'll just call it eyes. And then we're good to go. So basically what I want to do now is attach it to my avatar. So uh, we'll call, uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, select the eyes, pick parent, and I'll select uh, root node, which is actually our avatar. And I'll make him visible again. You can see we may need a little bit of a repositioning uh, on the eyes here. So to do that, we can just select the eyes, of course. Um, we can kind of uh, maybe just resize them, actually. Uh, if we use the R hot key, we can uh, toggle the scale gizmo. We can bring those down a little bit. Something like that. And if I wanted to uh, separate um, each individual eye, I can select from the dummies here. So this is the left eye. I can bring that a little further left. Uh, the right eye, I can bring it a little further right. And there we go. That should be okay. Maybe bring it a little bit further down. There we go. All right, so that's going to be my character with his eyes and everything complete. Now you can see that um, uh, I'm going to select my character now. And we'll open up the content manager. I want to actually um, bring up my builder again because we're going to actually define these uh, eyes as accessories now. So I'll just go ahead and just go to script, avatar builder, I'll go into window mode. And what I want to do is um, choose accessories and then I'm going to choose my eyes. All right, so you might, might come up with this notice here that you, uh, your notes have the same name. Just press OK. Uh, you can rename them automatically. All right, so you can see that he has some freaky looking eye bones there, but don't worry about that. It's just how eye clones displaying them. Uh, what I'll do is I'll select uh, from my object type, I'll select eye, and I have a pair of eyes, and the UI type will default to the general uh, eight directional eye uh, template there. In this case, we're going to enable expression because we're going to accompany it along with the uh, other, um, the eyebrows and the antenna and everything like that. So well, first things first, we'll go ahead and assign our accessory roots here, uh, left dummy and right dummy, uh, very simple, and we'll go apply. Now the more complicated part comes to when we, we assign the controller handles. So let's go start with the right here, uh, controller handle. Now the first um, item in our grid, you see this uh, massive grid in front of us here. The first item is uh, the eyeball. So the eyeball, I just want to select the uh, eyeball root right there, and that'll be it. For the iris, um, if I wanted to modify the iris, for example, maybe in the eyeball, I wanted to change color or change size, I can just select the eyeball, but I can just double cl uh, click that one more time. So these empty boxes indicate that only the material only the material is able to be changed. Um, check boxes indicate they can change transform positions and all that stuff. And then the eyelids. So the eyelids on these um, are a little bit more complicated, like I mentioned before. So let's go down to the eyelids here. Now if we go close, we're on the right side, I believe. Yes, we are. Uh, let's go close right into the eyes here. Um, you can see that um, for the eyelids, I want to select all of these bones. Now notice when I select them that they're, they're highlighting in green along the uh, outer part of my eye there. So these are the bones I'm selecting and these are what I'm going to use to modify my eye shape. So I'll just select all uh, eight of those and that's about it. You see the whole structure is selected though. 
And then for the eye blink, uh, like I mentioned before, we're only going to be adjusting the material. So I'll just select that twice, just to indicate only material. And for the expression, we may want to move the eye a little bit, so we'll select uh, the, the uh, dummy transform there. Um, and expression, we'll probably just want to adjust the, uh, um, the shape of the eye, so we'll select all those as well. And we may want to use the, uh, the eyeball, so we can just bring that up there as well. If we don't want to, we can just deselect it. We won't do it in that case, um, cause it just makes it a little bit easier on us later on. And we'll go ahead and apply that. So now we've assigned our right side. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the left side. I'll just do this really quickly. So the eyeball, uh, run down here, the iris, double click to only assign materials, the eyelid, uh, we want to, of course, just select all my bones. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the blink we have down here, just material for that. And the expression, uh, all of these uh, eye bones right here. Doop -ba -doop, as well as our uh, general dummy transform. We'll go apply. All right, so basically that's everything set up um, for these particular eyes. Now what I want to do is I want to, of course, go to the uh, next um, button here. And we're going to define our puppet behavior. I'm just going to define some really simple puppet behavior for this tutorial uh, for the reason of time. I'll give you all the concepts though. So um, first of all, we're going to move over to uh, eyelid. So let's start at the eyelid. And of course, in the middle, we'll select the middle and apply. Just to give, just give us a uh, default to go back to, to reset to rather. And what I want to do is I'm going to define an up and a down. Okay, so for the up, this is when my mouse moves up. And I want to select my uh, right handle target. And I want to open up this nifty little tool called the Edit Animation Layer. And we'll see, be able to see the structure of my eye right here. So let's focus on that. Let's twirl down all the bones here. So you can see I can select each individual bone. If I press the W hotkey, I can see the transform gizmo. So if I move the, if the mouse up, let's just do a simple, uh, like maybe eye lift, something like this. And that'll be all. And then we'll go to the left side and we'll do the same thing. Um, just select this uh, sub node here for the bone. And you can see that's how his eyes will uh, look. Looks like a little happy dude when, when I move the mouse up. Okay, we'll go ahead and apply that. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for down. So down and we'll reset. And we want to kind of make him maybe a, li a little bit angrier if he's uh, facing downwards or when we're moving the mouse downwards rather. So we'll just kind of do that. Uh, move this bone down there. And maybe move uh, this one up like that. Just deform the eyes however you wish. I'm going to go on the uh, right handle target there, do a similar thing, something like that. Put some anger in those eyes, and uh, there we go. That should be good. Go ahead and apply that. So if we go into preview mode, you can see um, eyelid up, happy, eyelid down, angry. So there we go, just two simple expressions right there. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, so preview, we'll turn that off right now. And we'll go on to our uh, our blink. Now the blink is really simple. We can close this down right now. The blink is really simple. Just assign a simple down uh, motion. The uh, top, of course, is already applied. Make sure you select our target handle. And let's go down. We can press the Y hotkey to go to the material section here. And you can see we have our, our black diffuse map there. And we're just going to repeat the same procedure that I showed you before. So when it moves down, I want to make sure my opacity map is selected. And type in 1.5. And boom. Uh, right eye is done. Same thing for left eye, 1.5, there you go. And there's our blink all set. So we'll go apply and uh, preview, and then we can test out our blink. Boom, 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 there we go. So we got our uh, eyes blinking right there. And we'll move to the eyeball. So the eyeball will do uh, up and down as well. We can do left and right. We can do uh, anything really. Let's just go ahead and do up and down for now. So uh, do our right, uh, right eyeball first. So we have our target handle selected, so up and, whoops. There we go. Up like that and left right there. Ready to go. And down. Let's just reset that. And the same thing. Down like that. And the right eyeball down like that. Okay, and apply. Preview. There we go. Eyeballs go up. Eyeballs go down. Up and down. Okay. So that's basically uh, showing you how to assign all that stuff. Now um, we can go to preview mode here. And if I want, I can also maybe make some adjustments to the, uh, you know, the, uh, not the size of the iris in this case. We can also do the material as well. If I just select the, the middle, maybe apply that. If I select the left, we can actually just, um, you know, go to something like, uh, oh, I don't know. 
you can of course uh, adjust if there is any diffuse map there you can adjust the colors um, this one we can adjust maybe the, uh, the diffuse color and adjust that maybe to like a, let's say a red or something press OK you can see <laughs> we can give him red eyes and left you can do the same thing diffuse color Just turn something red like that that one's a little bit darker and then we'll go apply and then on the uh, right side Reset that, and maybe we'll change the fuse color to uh, to blue, something like that. There you go. And where we are on the right eye now, fuse color blue. So just just some easy way to uh, easy ways to adjust the uh, you know to have fun with the uh, iris size uh, slider. It does not doesn't necessarily have to be iris size. We can go ahead and apply that now in preview. Let's take a look. So if he's maybe he's angry, his eyes will turn red. If he's you know happy or Sad, his eyes will turn blue, something like that. So you can have a lot of fun with that uh, on your own time. But now let's get to the expression tab. So for the expressions, I'll go ahead and uh, go to that tab right now. In the expressions tab, you're able to assign um, a different uh, expressions, obviously, uh, combining with all of the other uh, accessory elements on your face. Um, so basically what we're going to do uh, with the accessories, or with the, uh, sorry, the expressions, we're going we're gonna to cover that in the next tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to do a quick recording uh, with the eyes to show you how you can actually uh, use the eyes, a review of how to use the eyes in the avatar controller. Um, so if I see, uh, I'm in the avatar controller here right now, and if I go to expression, you can see, of course, um, those different uh, expressions that I uh, um, defined earlier um, on my character. Uh, for the eyes, let's do the eyes separately for now. So you can see we, we only have up and down, and we have the eyelid up and down. And the eye blink, of course. We can select uh, auto blink. And let's go ahead and record this. So I'm just going to go record, and we're going to adjust the eyelid first. So record up. You see the auto blink working right there, down, right there, up. Okay, and there we go. All right, so uh, basically that's uh, taken care of right there. Let's go ahead and play that back. You can see that the, uh, the eye blink is going through the... The eyelid, the eyelid a little bit, um, but of course we can adjust that by uh, moving the distance, um, you know, taking care of the distance between the uh, the eye blink and the eyelid and all that stuff. Um, but what I wanted to show you here is um, if we go ahead and record again, you let's go ahead and record, and then eyeballs. You know, just do something like that. And I will stop that right now. And if I go to the side here, uh, all we need to do is really um, put that uh, eye blink a little bit further back on both uh, both sides of our eyes here. I think if we just uh, move that back a little bit right there, we should be able to fix that problem. There you go. Oh, but now it's in front of the eyeball. So let's go ahead and try and uh, see what we need to do with that eyeball to bring it back. Right eyeball. Bring it back to about there there we go and so that's basically what you would have to do to uh, to bring it back um, so you can see that there now that we have this uh, you know the blink is okay the eyeball is just showing a little bit through um, we're supposed to go back to frame one and bring that back I guess uh, bring that eyeball back right there both there should be good I believe let's test that out slide the timeline through there we go Okay, so now we have blinking and, uh, you know, make sure that you get all your positioning correct like that. If you ever have that problem, that's a quick way to fix it. Okay, so that's basically all we're going to do um, with uh, eyes for this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. I'll show you how to combine all the expressions together and uh, how to get a final result uh, on your character.